hi in this lecture we will uh, display all the brands over here when admin clicks this view all brands link that's it very simply we will go and we will create a new page using control n and just we will put this view underscore cache dot php whole code just we will select it by using control s uh, sorry control a and then control c to copy and we will paste it now we will just save this page using control s from our keyboard and we will name it view underscore brands dot php that's it save it and we will change this title to view all brands here and also brand id brand title and the rest of the things are okay now we will just simply again change all the variables to brand where the category is there we will change that to brand select all from brands run brand this is get brand and while row brand uh, run brand and we will change this to run row brand and this to also row brand and get brand ID brand ID and brand title and we'll change this variable to brand ID and this to brand title that's it and we'll also change this all to brand title and we will change this one to edit brand and this to brand id and this also to brand id and we will say delete underscore brand dot php delete brand is the variable name that's it control is to say very simply we have done that now come here refresh the page sorry we have not actually uh, included this page into the index.php page the main page so once again we will copy this whole block of fs set and we'll paste it we'll say view underscore brand view underscore brands if that is the case then just simply include view underscore brands page control is to save and we have given this variable in the links above here view brands so if that is clicked we have included the page that we have just created this one view, view underscore brands refresh the page and you can see brand title all are the brand brands and these are the brand ids and edit links and also delete links now very simply we can uh, edit it by controlling a new uh, page using control n we'll simply uh, copy this insert brand whole code I mean uh, all the code of, uh, from the insert brand page and we'll paste it inside here uh, save it edit underscore brand dot php page that's it now first of all we'll say uh, we'll create a new block of php code and we'll just copy the code from edit underscore cat page because that is similar to this you can simply copy this all and paste it inside this page here so that's it if edit brand is clicked then get brand id from that url get variable and then we'll say get brand select all from brands where brand ID is equal to this brand ID variable and run brand get brand is the variable in that the uh, the query is saved now run brand mysql fetch array run brand this is row brand based sorry this variable and we have just got 
brand id and uh, brand title that's it using this fetch variable row brand and we'll change this to also to row brand and we'll change the values to brand id from the table we are getting the brand id and also the brand title that's it we have done it now control s to save and we will just uh, display i mean uh, we'll remove this required and we'll add value attribute where we will add php start and closing tag inside that we will echo brand title that's it control s to save we'll say uh, now we will say here update brand we'll change this as well say uh, update brand we'll just change this text because this this thing we have already done you know in the once so there is no need you can easily understand it and this button we will change to update underscore brand for simplicity and we will remove this include because we have already included in the first block and I will give you this whole source code with this project so you can easily then read the code now that's done control s to save just go here refresh the page and when you click this edit link so it will take you to edit underscore brand is equal to one and we need to actually include this page also inside here I mean once again this if statement if a set block will say if edit underscore brand is clicked then simply include edit underscore brand page that's it control s to save now once again replace the page and you click this brand is HP click it you will see HP is there so we can update it simply once again if we actually we want to update this Apple one to anything else so we can just click new sorry edit and we will change this to uh, I mean apple to banana update brand new brand has been inserted this has been changed to banana we didn't actually uh, change the message here in the alert box we will change this as well brand has been updated that's it and the page will go to view brands control s to save now once again if we click uh, this apple we can make it google we'll update it to google update brand ok you can see now google is here oh sorry we have not actually added uh, sorry we have just uh, uh, you know echoed that uh, brand we have not yet updated it we, are, we were just clicking now we need to update we need to run the update query over here we will change this to update underscore brand and this will be equal to something like update brands set brand underscore title to this thing I mean new brand where brand underscore id is equal to this id update underscore id which is equal to brand id that's it so we will say if that is equal to update id control s to save this update id is basically uh, we have created a new local variable in this scope uh, which is equal to brand id and that brand id we have over here this one i am talking about or this one both are the same so in here we have set update brands set brand title to this new brand which is coming uh, through this input fields which name is new underscore brand and where brand id is equal to, is equal to this brand id now run brand run update and which is basically 
a query update underscore band so if run update has been executed then this message should be displayed so now it will actually update the exact brand that we are editing or we are changing before it was not working because we, we did not write this code we did not correct the script so control s to save now once again go there refresh the page and once again we will go to google this google one will make it ipads click it will make it ipads now update click update ok you can see ipads and we will change uh, this one apple one to google now update brand brand has been updated ok you can see so that's done now uh, we can simply delete the brands by using a uh, page just very simply we'll create a new page and we'll simply uh, I mean copy this delete underscore cat dot php code and we will put it here and we'll save this page delete underscore brand dot php it will be the name of this page save it now very simply if uh, set delete underscore brand and we will say ok delete id get delete id which you will get from the this i mean from delete underscore brand uh, url variable or get variable now we will just change the query name to delete brand delete from brands we will change the table name here where brand id we will change this get id to brand id is equal to delete id run delete MySQL I query connection delete brand if run delete a uh, brand has been deleted open view brands on a new window and redirect the person to view brand that's it this is also done we can see it uh, inside the view brands we have given the page delete underscore brand which that we have created and uh, you know the brand ID is equal to this delete underscore brand variable which we have given there as a reference so we'll get the brand ID and after that we'll delete that specific and that particular brand so we cannot delete all we will just delete one refresh the page once again and just click this iPads one here delete a brand has been deleted okay that has gone another one that has gone another one that has gone okay and those will also be not appearing here in the main website so that's it we have done this uh, you know weaving the brands deleting the brands editing the brands all together uh, in this one single lecture so the brand the brands etc are now we have learned and we have done that but and uh, after this video we will work or uh, this view customers part and then view orders part view payments and finally we will then create logout script and also we will have to create uh, login script before uh, creating this logout script that are important parts of this admin panel which we will cover in next upcoming uh, lectures so so far we have we are going uh, smooth and very nice so there are you know so many pages we have created and we have experimented many things i hope you are enjoying the course stay tuned